let's start with the unfinished bed. Lots and lots of sunflowers. Had a little bit of a storm go through earlier. So things are a little bit windblown. Lots and lots of sunflowers. The peach tree is looking fantastic. You know, right down there, we have a little peach. Our blueberries that we transplanted, they're looking good. That's the other blueberry. The apple tree is looking fantastic. We got apples. Lots of good apples. This is the uh, Honeycrisp apple tree. Let's go over here. Sorry about the debris, but we have several broccoli shoots that need to be harvested. We got here today and harvest it. Um, it's the first year I did this, but I planted some sweet alyssum. Man, I love those things. The cabbages are looking good. Nice big head on that guy. Chamomile is always looking good. Um, some of that probably needed to be harvested. We have here a little squish squash. He's not as big as the other squashes, but he's looking okay. And Denali Daisy, kind of getting shaded out, but she's doing okay. Those are the single seed challenge plants. Love these daisies. They look fantastic too. All right, let's move on to the next bed, tomato bed and bean bed. Uh, we are doing pretty good with our celery this year, I think. We'll just see how harvest time goes with that. Got a cosmos. Um, got some tomatoes, some beef steaks, some orange icicles, some orange accordions. Um, a couple of them that need to be trellised up must have fell down because of the wind so yeah we're looking good there got some pink celery going here another little cabbage a little pepper hiding amongst the chamomile we got some pole beans going up Probably need to plant some more pole beans. Got a little onion there. This year I decided I'm going to just take things and scatter them amongst the garden. Try to keep pests at bay. Alright, now over here we have soon to be blooming carrots that we left in the garden. That should attract some pollinators. Uh, got some cabbage. Got some red cabbage over there. My grape vines are taking off. They are looking good. Got a grape on two grapes on this side, two grapes on this side. The ones on this side are the red varieties. They aren't haven't been taken off as quick, but I think they'll still be good. Got some volunteer zinnias over here. Some more cabbage. Got some, I believe these are Brussels sprouts. Got some Brussels sprouts. I got a pock toy that needed to be harvested. Got some more celery. Here we go to the uh, garlic. So, I have a brother that planted garlic and he's got scapes already. I do not have any scapes. Um, in between there are some spinach I let go way too long, but we got a little bit of harvest off of that But sooner or later I will have scapes on these garlic There's oh, a scape There's a scape Scapes are getting there um, I do have some scapes So sooner or later we will have uh, Some scapes to dehydrate Got some more broccoli here Got me a uh, a violet sparkle pepper pepper little guy purple prince little guy Broccoli some more celery some more sweet alyssum 
Got me some turnips that probably are gonna be close to being ready to be harvested. Let's see here real quick. Oh yeah, those are getting ready. We probably need to get those in. We have to pull out a few for supper tonight. All right. Down here, we got some more peppers. I got some bell peppers, some keystone bells. I got some cucumbers in the middle, along with some peas. Got some more pea plants that are starting to flower. Got some onions. Got some massive walking onions that need to be dehydrated. I got my kiwi vines here. They are still looking good. Let me get them started training. This is going to be their their training year. Over here we got some more broccoli, some daisies, got some more celery, some basil. Got me some marigolds. Those are some leftovers from some seed. And this is kind of the squash at garden area. So I got tons of yellow squash, tons of butternut squash, some uh, marigold again down there. I got tons of squash planted this year. Yeah, we got quite a bit of rain. And the blackberries, look at here. These guys are looking fantastic. Got me some uh, nice little white blooms. The elderberry is grown. It needs to be uh, staked up or something. It's like all flailing all over the place. The rhubarb's looking good. One more year and I'm harvesting that. We got some more broccoli sprouts that need to be harvested. Looks like we're having broccoli tonight. Almost looks like we had a little bit of wind. Look at this. All these are broke off the elderberry. I'll have to clean that up here after the storms get done. All right, and here we have the asparagus growing like crazy. Over here we have more cabbages, more tomatoes. We got a basil right there. Chamomile is everywhere this year. We grew so much chamomile, and we also had so much volunteer chamomile. And here we got, look at that blueberry bush, guys. That guy is doing fantastic. We need to probably get something to cover that guy up with. Um, got a couple more blueberries, but they aren't doing near as well. But we do have over here, we have the Tomato 2024 Challenge. We got Mrs. Maxwell's Big Italian Tomato. And we have Kid Croc's uh, orange accordion over here. So yeah, we got quite a bit going on here, guys. Um, paying the price this week hurt my back a little bit, so we haven't been out here. Um, and of course, today I'm feeling better. It's raining, but I can get a video done for you. So if you like uh, like the content, want to see more of the garden, like comment subscribe cheers everybody